Out here at the range today, uh, going to try and kill two birds with one stone today. Had a few misses with my 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, this Christensen uh, Arms Ridgeline, this past summer and fall doing some crop damage uh, doe hunts. And uh, shot placement was just not really up to the standard that I was looking for. Spent some time double checking the zero on this thing. And uh, shots were primarily, I was missing, just my elevation was off by a ton. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to confirm the ballistics on the ammunition that I hand load on our Hornady ELDXs with uh, the old school Caldwell Crown Craft that I have to this new Athlon Rangecraft. Now I haven't even used this thing yet, so I'm gonna get this thing out here, see where the numbers compare with the with the Caldwell unit. Uh, Cross-referencing these two, there's not a lot of content out there with these two comparing them, more the Garmin and the Athlon. But gonna cross-reference these two to one another as well as the numbers that I gained before. So I've got some fresh loaded up ammo here, exact same specs to everything that I've been shooting and target down there at 100 yards. It's about 20 degrees out today. It's cold, it's windy. I'm not shooting for accuracy. I'm shooting for the velocity numbers I'm gonna get out of this thing uh, to see if I need to correct my elevation numbers in the ballistic application that I use. So let me get behind the gun and set something down there and see how these two devices shake out. Now you know the fun stuff about coming out to the rain and freezing when you're out here and setting up all kinds of cameras. Just having a malfunction with one. My GoPro is not going and it's not proing. With that, I'm gonna set the camera up behind the gun. Doesn't matter if you see me shooting. I want you guys to be able to see the numbers on the chronographs. I'm gonna send three shots down with the 6.5. Let's compare those numbers. Got the three rounds all loaded up. Both devices are on. Well, let's see where we're at here. Now, 2,753 on the Athlon, 838 on the Caldwell. Let me make sure that I've got this thing actually, well, wrong setting. We're on MPS. All right, back behind the gun, a little foo bar on that one. Have that Caldwell unit set up on MPS. Um, so we got her all set on FPS now, so we're gonna get feet per second on both of these units. Did get 2,753 on the first one. You know, I really don't know what that other number was on that, but a little bit of a testament of the ease of use of this Athlon thing, but it's cold, I need to shoot. All right, 2,774 on the Caldwell, 2,778 on the Athlon. Four feet per second, that's nothing really. One more. Two thousand seven hundred and forty seven on the Caldwell, two thousand seven hundred and forty seven on the Athlon. These things cost about three hundred bucks or so. So, yeah, did I waste money on this thing? This is really unscientific. I'm not doing a large sample size of shots here. But I think you guys know where I'm going with this. I got one more in the chamber. Let's get this uh, same spot and get this shot down there. Little bit of difference on this one. 2,780 on the Athlon, 2,773, so seven feet per second. You know, I hand load these things one by one. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Takes some time. 
Well, I shouldn't complain. It is a hobby and I enjoy it. But, you know, this unit right here I picked up and I want to say I was really hoping that this was going to be the solution, that that thing was a problem. Uh, but it's not looking to be, really. These numbers are shaking out so close that I think I could send 50 of them down there and they're going to be within 10. And I'm not really sh shaking up over 10. Pretty much everybody who tests this Athlon unit uh, with the Garmin unit, this thing shoots about 10 uh, feet per second faster than the Garmin. Or the reading is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. These two are falling right in the same box as... Uh, the Garmin unit. Um, did I waste my money on it? Uh, I don't think so. The Caldwell unit is a bit of a pain in the ass to set up. It uses the old school 9 volt batteries and if you forget to unhook it, the battery dies and they're ridiculously expensive right now. As well as setting it up. You can see I've got that thing all set up on a big old tripod. you got to put these posts up on it. The sun's a problem. Uh, there are sun shades that go on that thing. Yeah, you got to make sure you don't blast it. Also blast, knock it over, or bullet through the thing. So it it does work, and gosh, in a nutshell, it works good. It's matching right up with this thing. Uh, it's just, I think, if you had to ask me, uh, did I waste my money? No, because I'm out here freezing right now, and to come out and use this, you set it up, you shoot, and you're gone before you even get cold. You know, that takes a good five minutes to get it all set up. Batteries, uh, I have come out before and had my 9-volt batteries dead. Not all convenience stores or gas stations even carry the old square 9-volts. you got to go rob a smoke detector somewhere or some shit. But, uh, yeah, so now I'm going to take these numbers, you know, those averages. And that's the other thing that's nice about this thing. It does a lot of the math for you. Uh, you know, it tells you everything. So I'm going to take this stuff and double check and check out and see what's going on with it. Uh, average was 2,764. Got to log into my stuff and see what my numbers are, but see where that shakes out. Uh, and if that's the problem of what was going on with my hits. So, but anyway, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to put this stuff away. It's cold. There's your quick and nasty little you know, non-scientific, but for science comparison of the Athlon Rangecraft and the old school Caldwell Chronograph. Hey man, I'm just telling you for me, if you got one of those and you don't mind setting it up, just keep using it. It's probably working just fine. At least mine is. Uh, but if you, you know, you're looking for easy use and something a little bit more modern, this is the way to go. Well, it wouldn't be right if we didn't go down and get the target. At least take a look at it. 2,764 feet per second was the average that I had on that Athlon Rangecraft. 2,685 feet per second is what I've had entered into my ballistic app that I use. So, about 100 feet per second. That is a enough to make things uh, be off. Not 100% confident that that's enough to be off or as much as I think I might have been missing. Play around and throw those different numbers in and see what the drop would be. But uh, let's take a look at the target first. Now, it's nothing super accurate, but let's see how I did. There we go. Well, not too bad, right? In the end, 100 feet per second. Is that the deal breaker? Was it the change? Was it the difference? I mean, temperature wise, I do have um, the temperature sensitivity thing set up in the ballistic app, as well as I do believe when I was chronoing before it was pretty cold. I'm not sure it was 20 degrees cold, but we're not talking extremes that I was out shooting in summer in 80 degrees uh, and then hunting in 20. I was, we're not talking 60 degree spreads here, but. This time of year, that's what this stuff's about, getting out, cleaning things up with the gun. Uh, it is January right now, and I'll be back out in May with that 6.5, uh, trying to clean up the fields again. So now's the time to do this. Get things going, can take your time a little bit, uh, and go from there to get better ethical shots when, uh, when the time comes. So, hey, with that, shut this thing off, get on out there.